Hello, my name is Brecht de Pape from the UGENT Center for Synthetic Biology. And in this presentation, I will explain how we develop and use biosensors for high throughput screening of microbial cell factories as a case study for our core facility. In the field of industrial biotechnology, engineered microorganisms or so-called microbial cell factories are being developed to produce high value products such as pharmaceuticals, specialty carbohydrates, bulk chemicals and much more in a sustainable way. Through a classic design, build, test, learn cycle, microorganisms are being engineered for optimal production of the compound of interest. With current DNA read and write techniques, vast amounts of microbial variants can be designed and constructed in a fast and efficient manner. In the test phase, however, Current analytical techniques for quantifying the desired production within these microorganisms, such as HPLC and mass spectrometry, are the main bottleneck. This because they require multiple steps and are time consuming and expensive. This results in long development times and high costs for new optimal microbial cell factories. As a solution, Biosensors can greatly speed up this test phase and reduce its costs. Biosensor technology is the genetic reprogramming of microorganisms to allow them to detect a specific molecule of interest and produce a fluorescent protein in direct response. More molecule of interest will therefore generate more fluorescence, which is very easy to screen for. Because the analytical power is hardwired into the microorganism itself, this allows for in vivo, cheap, sustainable and direct sensing of molecules of interest. Biosensors have al already been developed for all kinds of compounds such as metal ions, antibiotics, sugars, secondary plant metabolites and even environmental triggers such as temperature, oxygen and CO2. Such a biosensor is defined by its specificity toward the molecule of interest and the input-output relationship or so-called response curve. Now you can imagine that the combination of the easy-to-monitor biosensor technology and an automated robotic high-throughput screening platform such as our core facility can greatly speed up the development of microbial cell factories. Here, Simultaneously monitoring growth and fluorescence of multiple 96 well plates over time generates large amounts of data shedding light on what is happening inside of these microbes. Because a biosensor can give you an integrated, real-time, online and cheap way to monitor what is happening inside your microorganism, development time and costs can be greatly reduced for microbial cell factories. To demonstrate this powerful combination for industrial biotechnology, I will now present a case study in which we developed and optimized a microbial cell factory for the production of naringenine from sugar. This natural compound is only produced in plants and has a variety of interesting pharmaceutical properties. In addition, naringenine is also the central precursor in the production of a wide variety of other interesting plant metabolites. For this project, our microbial cell factory of choice is the easy to engineer E. coli bacterium. Starting from precursor molecules that are naturally present in E. coli, the biosynthetic pathway for naringenine consists of four enzymatic steps. This means that we had to introduce four genes to allow E. coli to produce naringenine. However, just introducing these genes is not enough to generate an optimal microbial cell factory and therefore pathway optimization is necessary to fine tune this pathway and balance high naringenine production with healthy microbial growth. Using our automated high throughput cloning platform in our core facility, we were able to implement a combinatorial pathway optimization strategy. We were able to test different enzyme variants for each enzymatic step, and we were able to test different expression levels for each enzyme. DNA assembly for all these different combinations was done within our core facility and resulted in a large library of naringenine production plasmids. 
transforming E. coli with this library of plasmid variants therefore generated a library of microbial cell factories, all producing Naringene at different levels and efficiencies. As we now entered the test phase, screening this large library to find the optimal microbial cell factory is clearly not an easy task with techniques such as HPLC or mass spectrometry. Therefore, we developed a Naringene responsive biosensor to enable high throughput screening of this library within our core facility. Based on an existing Naringene responsive genetic circuit, a biosensor plasmid was created that generates an easy to read fluorescent output in direct correlation with the Naringene concentration in E. coli. With our high throughput cloning platform, we even engineered the response curve of this biosensor for optimal operational and dynamic range, sensor noise and detection limit. Transforming E. coli with the complete production pathway library, as well as the, pla the biosensor plasmid, now generated a library of Naringene producing microbial cell factories. But now the more Naringene was produced, the more fluorescent the cells became. This enabled for a very fast and efficient screening of this production library. This high throughput screening resulted in a clear look into the microbial production library, covering a wide range of fluorescence levels and therefore a wide range of Naringene production levels. When selecting specific microbial cell factories across this range and sequencing them, we were able to gain fundamental knowledge on the biosynthetic pathway and to even predict what the production level would be when combining specific DNA parts to build this pathway. Next, we validated Naringene production of a small selection of microbial cell factories using HPLC analysis, after which we took the highest producing microbial cell factory and scaled up the production to reactor scale. With this optimized production process, we were able to achieve the highest reported titer for microbial production of Naringenine, starting from the renewable resource, sugar. The available equipment clustered in the high throughput screening for synthetic biology core facility not only allowed us to successfully construct a large library of microbial cell factories, but also to construct, optimize and apply a biosensor to screen this library to find the optimal production strain. Finally, I end with our contact information in case you want to contact us regarding possible future collaborations or for questions that you might have.